In the Photos app on newer iPhones, iPads, and Macs, we can now quickly lift or cut out the subject of an image and then copy or share it to another app. This will only work on iOS devices with an A12 Bionic chip or newer. Here is a list of the devices with that chip. So here in Photos, when we have an image open, all I need to do is tap and hold, and if a subject is detected, it will sort of lift up momentarily and get an animated white outline. And above we get copy and share buttons. Let's tap share. Notice here in the share sheet that this is now a PNG image file. For those that are familiar with certain image types, you'll know that PNG files can contain transparency, unlike JPEG files. So when I tap to share this via mail, the subject is lifted and placed on a white background in the message. In this instance, even the areas of the background within the openings of the skull were removed. So this isn't perfect, but it's pretty impressive for being done pretty much instantly. Now over on the iPad, let's try another example with this burger. Tap and hold in Photos lifts the burger and the plate that it's on. There are several options in the share sheet, including Save Image, which will keep a copy of the cutout PNG image in the Photos library. You can also save to the Files app, or even assign the image to a contact. Let's share this using Messages. Notice that we see it on a black background here. I'm not really sure why this is, but when it's actually delivered, which we can see here on this iPhone, it comes in on an empty white background. It's also possible to lift a subject from a video. To do so, we need to pause the video, and in this case, it's going to help to zoom in on it. Then tap and hold, and the subject is outlined. This time, I'm going to tap Copy and head into the Notes app, and then use Paste. This result isn't great because the subject in a video is already lower in resolution than on a photo, and this wasn't taking up a lot of the frame, so the resolution of the pasted PNG file isn't very high. This is going to work best in videos and photos where the subject is pretty large, taking up most of the frame. This feature will also be coming to Photos for Mac in the form of a command called Copy Subject. Look for a lesson on that in our What's New in Mac OS Ventura tutorial.